Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to do something slightly different. So this is going to be a side-by-side -side video. So on one side we have the GoPro uh, Hero Black 9, which is the latest model. And the other hand we have a Compact UHD 4K camera. So thank you very much for Compact for sending me this camera um, for a review. So basically they saw one of my previous videos about a head-to-head -head with GoPro and they decided to send me a camera for me to test it out. Now um, I did say to them that oh, good or bad, I'm going to just going to be my honest review like I always has and they agreed to that so thank you very much. So you be the judge on how good or how bad the quality of the camera is. And my video is never scripted so if you find my information useful don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel. A GoPro is like, you know, three, four, 390 pounds, I think 350 if you have a discount at the moment. So it's still a very expensive piece of equipment and rightly so because they are fantastic. So I'm not saying that, you know, Compaq is in the same league uh, at the GoPro, but I'm saying that there is options out there for anyone who's making content for internet or just for home sharing uh, with your precious memories. The GoPro, fantastic. If you have the money, go for that. But if you're on the budget, so the compact can be had for about £120. It might not under the same name in the UK, but um, I think there's a few different rebranded for different region um, of the world. So this one here is about $100 or maybe £120 in the UK. Um, it can do 4K30, so it's not as high uh, FPS as the GoPro. There's, There's a couple, couple of things different as well, but I'm going to go through that later on in the video. At the moment, I just want to show you a side-by-side -side video of what it looks like. And of course, the sound as well. So usually I have a clip on mic um, to give me the best audio, but today just stay to the truth of the action camera, so the audio might be a bit rubbish. Both the Compact UHD 4K and the GoPro Hero 9 have built-in water resistance. Without a uh, diving case, they can be splashed around in the swimming pool. I think you can go down up to like a certain depth, so for example, 5 meters or even 10 meters. But after that, the seal will start to break because of the water pressure and then the water may get into the camera. So if you do go diving, then you will have to use one of these like waterproof case. But unlike many cheaper ones on the market, the Compact UHD 4K and the GoPro uh, Hero 9 already have waterproof uh, casing on. Action camera has a very small sensor inside compared to, for example, my DSLR. That's why they need tons of light to make anything usable. So here I got studio lights for Fantastic. Today is a brilliant day for testing out the action camera. So if you have an action camera and your footage doesn't come as clear, then most likely because there's not enough light. Try to do it in the darkness and you come up with a blurry mess. So this is a test footage and uh, basically both of my camera is mounted on, oh, you can see the reflection here. So both of the camera is mounted on the uh, same stand, so I'm just handhelding it. So it's on 4K 30 frames per second with electronic stabilization switched on. Um, the GoPro, I switch on linear mode, so um, they got a bit of fisheye options as well, but I choose linear because that's how I usually film. But the uh, um, Compact doesn't have that, so it might be a bit more wide angle or distortion. Um, here in the studio, plenty of light, so this one will have no problem working. Let me just adjust it, make sure they're showing the same angle. Yep. So let's go outside and have a look because it's a pretty rare good day in London. So let's go outside and have a look. Okay, pretty, pretty good day here. Some dark spot under the tree. sunlight okay let's go around and have a look so I'm walking this is a walking pace handheld so there is a bit of shake I'm not really a gardener so I'm more like a chip person so Yep, here is my new addition to the family. Totally unnecessary for some people, but for me, it is quite useful. The reason why this robot is useful for us because both me and my wife works. Actually, only me, only me cut the grass here anyway. So, um, in England, the rain it rains a lot, and I work a few, and I work a lot. So. By the time that I'm free to do 
gardening work usually it rains and when it rains it's hard to cut the grass so the grass never get cut so we usually have uh, grass up to this high before I take out a lawnmower and it's such a hassle so hopefully um, this one will solve the problem so this part is really testing the stabilization because it's really rocky Lawnmower. This is a Flymo 1200R. When it finish, what it does is it come back to the dock. It actually reverse into the dock. So when it need power, it just come back here by itself, and then it charges. Pretty neat, huh? How is the stabilization going? Now I won't know until I go back and test it out, so... We'll see. And for anyone who's interested in the front facing camera, both of it does have that option. I do find that the GoPro has a lot brighter LCD screen, but both of them are quite useful for framing yourself to make sure you're in the center of the camera. But one of the compromises you have to make is that GoPro have the front and back always on. Obviously it will switch itself off to save uh, energy and you can adjust how long that happens, like a screensaver thing. But in terms of the compact, is either or. So um, you don't get both screen at the same time. You can't really see that, can you? <laughs> yeah, I might have to turn it around. So yeah, so um, you won't be able to have both uh, front screen or the back screen. And it's either either front or back, and you can't switch it while it is recording. I I can't I can't get that to work. So as a compromise, um, if you want something permanently on both the front and the back, GoPro is the options for you. And um, but for the compact at the moment, that is only optional. So I want to talk to you guys a bit more about the compact camera. So it comes in a box like that, and it comes with tons of accessories. Whereas the um, GoPro 9, everything is optional, you have to buy them separately. And one of the things that at the moment impressed me the most of the compact camera is this wristwatch. So um, instead of like your normal um, battery powered one, this one you can actually plug a USB in and recharge it. And you got photo mode and uh, video mode, so when you press it, it will stop recording or start recording. So this video should have took me, uh, let's say, half an hour, maybe one hour to film more together, maybe to edit. But it ended up taking me days because none of the media cards that I have are fast enough for the compact. But fast enough for the GoPro. So I really don't understand because the GoPro camera can do 4K at 60 frames per second. And even the slower version of the SD card that I have, they all work. But the Compact, they really need a U3 cam uh, camera card. And then I bought this one here from Integro, and thinking that it might work for the camera, and this is the cheapest I can find on the internet. So if you guys are looking, this is the cheapest. It works on the GoPro, but it doesn't work with the Compact. What happens is when you start to put these in the media card and then when you press record, it will just say um, speed is too slow for the for the camera. So and then I went out to buy this one here. Uh, this is by uh, SanDisk Extreme and this one have the same rating, but this one have speed up to 160 megabyte per second read and 60 megabyte per second write. You can see that it's not that much different. This one is 50, this one is 60 write. But for some reason, this one doesn't work. So if you are going to buy the compact camera, which doesn't come with an SD card, this is the one that you will need. I will put the link in the description for you. And the link to buy this product will be in the description as well, because um, if you are looking to buy, make sure you buy the right product. Uh, a lot of these are rebranded. Some of them, uh, Chinese companies love to copy one and each other, but they might not use the same internal. So um, don't get disappointed if it doesn't work out for you. So what do you guys think? Is it really trash camera or is it worth the money? Um, obviously it's one third of the price of your GoPro. If you have the money, go for the GoPro because there's so many options and features to make your video footage a lot better. 
actually I haven't talked about it but the app um, that you have used to connect both both of this has like a Wi-Fi you can connect wireless to your phone um, GoPro generally speaking have a much better interface um, but saying that if you just need a point and shoot and um, the compact is really good saying that you are compromising so another thing is like you know they have a screw mount on the bottom here which is fantastic for mounting your camera easily but once you're mounted you can't access the battery and the SD card anymore so I think that is a a bit let down in terms of um, the design whereas the GoPro the GoPro 9 is um, have two little flaps at the bottom for mounting but they have moved everything to the side so you can still access the battery door and the SD card door from the side which is great battery wise um, I have used this for like you know on and off like 30 minutes 45 minutes recording is perfectly fine GoPro is perfectly fine as well but if you need to use it for longer you do have to change battery which this one comes with a second battery and the GoPro is option so you have to buy that separately as usual if you find my information useful don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel and if you are to buy this product the link is in the description and thank you very much for watching I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets bye bye